just because a process can be automated doesn't mean every process should be automated. This Industry 4.0 revolution is looking at bringing that human intelligence back into a process while leaving robots and technology to, to perform the more mundane activities, but improvisational skills, making having to make a change on the fly, that's something that humans always gonna be the best at. The other big part of that is this interconnectivity of all the devices and the flow of data between them. Where we're saying right now, this is gonna be where kind of our fully automated assembly cell will be. Industry 3.0, industry, the Industrial Revolution 3.0, that has started more, you know, 60s and 70s with, with the advent of automating a process. That's been around for a long time, but a lot of our students, they're gonna be going into manufacturing plants that have been around for, you know, decades already that use, the, that use a fully automated process. So we need to showcase what it looks like to them. As everybody's beginning to find out, just because a process can be automated doesn't mean every process should be automated. When you have a fully automated process, the slightest change in a parameter, temperature, humidity in the room could change, or your parts are slightly out of tolerance all of a sudden, the whole process breaks down. So this industry 4.0 revolution kind of is looking at two different fronts. First off, on the physical side from the assembly process, it is looking at that, bringing that human intelligence back into a process. And having a human there that can, that can oversee and manage a process while leaving robots and technology to, to perform the more mundane activities, something like material hauling or lifting, you know, lifting or picking and placing parts. Robots can do that very well, but improvisational skills, making, having to make a change on the fly, that's something a human's always gonna be the best at. So that's part of the industry 4.0 revolution. The other big part of that is this interconnectivity of all the devices and the flow of data between them. With all of these devices will be connected together on our own private network and will be communicating with each other. And so with that, you can start pulling in all this data and do an analytics on it for like AI and machine learning. And that allows you to find optimizations that traditionally you just couldn't find that a person isn't good at finding. You can run through the data and look for ways to like improve, improve your power drawer, uh, reduce, you know, reduce the amount of power that you're using, reduce the amount of scrap that you produce, um, improve your process times, things like that. So those two fronts of the aggregation and connectivity of all this data, and then the, the collaboration between humans and technology coming, you know, working together. That's pretty much the two big fronts of industry 4.0 right there, 4.0.